Not everyone's gonna be, you know, your cup of tea. You don't like everyone. You see that tan line right now? This is why I don't really like to meal prep because I get sick of my meals very, very quickly. <laughs> Bye. Baby, I've been going nowhere lately. It's time to start all over and go for it. Cause they don't even, they don't even know me yet. That's bad. That's actually really bad. What the heck? It's, it's the ugliest thing. <laughs> I'm kind of panicking right now because I didn't realize I got a tan line. <laughs> I gotta show you guys. Seriously. You see that tan line right now? Can you see that tan line? <laughs> I looked at myself in the mirror because I was getting it changed because I'm gonna work out soon. And then I saw that in the mirror. I'm like, what? Am I tripping right now? Because I got so dark. And I was out in the sun for like an hour and a half. It was only an hour and a half and I got a mad tan line like that. <laughs> this is the UV rays in Australia. It's 12.40. I should go work out, but I'm um, just like, yeah, I'm being bothered. Like the sun is just so nice outside and I don't know, I just, I want to spend more time outside, but I also don't want to because I'll get more tan lines like that. I'm not ready for that. <laughs> Having some lemon water. My digestion is struggling a bit today, even with the prunes. So, <laughs> chugging a whole bunch of lemon water, hoping to save my bowels today. Please, I need to release. Like I feel congested. Into dreams, baby. What can I do when a million things are running through? Million things I can undo. I just sleep, walk. I just sleep, talk. That's all I got. What can I say when a million? And look at how crispy it is. It looks good. Oh, I'm so excited. This is actually massive. I'm gonna top it up with some Perinase. I can't do this with one hand. Whoops. This is what you call volume eating people. I'm gonna have this while I edit. <laughs> Anyways, I'm gonna have some. <laughs> Just wave your hand and I'll walk away. <laughs> the bag, the bag. Oh, it smells good. Usually I'm not the type to like mint chocolate, but this is actually really good. I'm not gonna lie. It tastes like the mint slices. It tastes exactly like that. So I can have one, three, four. So one serving and ooh, one servings. This much. Guys, look at my new plant. This is fake, by the way, because clearly I can't take care of a plant. Anyways, I'm gonna put this right here. Oh my god, this one looks so cute. Let me get rid of all this junk first. Oh. Everything can go in the drawer. Oh my god, I'm so happy. Guys, literally, this plant makes such a difference. Look at me going, barista skills. <laughs> Actually, not much. I'm not very skilled at this, but we're learning. It's not bad. I just want to have like a cozy little chit chat. With you guys, uh, should sit down. I'll sit down. I just want to see if the lighting's good here. I look a bit white. <laughs> I'm gonna be honest. I look a bit white right now. I think. Um, 
I don't know. Guys, this is literally behind the scenes of, you know, content creator, I guess. Trying to find some good lighting. <laughs> right now, I look extra white, so maybe not here. <laughs> Like that, you know, that's that's decent lighting right here. I'm just gonna stand here and hold the camera. I'm kidding, I'm not doing that. <laughs> My arms will hurt in like two seconds. <sighs> Where shall we sit? Should we sit in the lounge? Maybe we can sit in the lounge, like here. We'll sit there. Okay, I'm gonna set you guys up. Oh, that actually is nice. I forgot we had a chandelier in this area of the house. <laughs> Honestly, I don't pay attention. Oh yay! I like that. That's really good. You guys can come a bit closer. Oh, actually, I feel like I kind of want to read you like my journal entry from this morning. I might do that. Okay. <laughs> yeah. We got my journal book. Oh, time to expose some th truths. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. Not really much exposing, but I was really proud of something that I wrote this morning because I'm just trying to be more like self-aware, I guess, um, in terms of why I feel the way that I feel, especially in the days where I'm feeling, you know, maybe insecure about something. You know, insecurities lie beyond our physical looks. Maybe you could be insecure about your personality, because at one point, I was very much insecure about my personality, that I felt the need to hide, like, a part of myself so that I could feel accepted in this society. You know, I didn't want to be, like, someone that was known as being too much. I suppressed a lot of who I was for a long time because I was scared of what people would think of me. I'm pretty much unconditionally accepted who I am. As long as I'm comfortable with who I am, that's all that should really matter at the end of the day. And if people don't like that, that's that's more than okay because that they're entitled to their own opinion and all that kind of stuff, you know? <laughs> Not everyone's gonna be, you know, your cup of tea. You don't like everyone. That doesn't mean you should be hating on people for, you know, being who they are, I guess. That's why I don't like it when people judge other people, you know? <laughs> it really gets me, but I guess because it stems from my own insecurities of being scared of people judging me, you know? So it kind of stems from that. <laughs> but yeah, <laughs> this is a little bit of um, insight into my, my brain. <sighs> this hits the spot. Anyways, okay, back onto my journal. <laughs> it's just... Okay, so we live in like, in a world where we're always so simulated, whether it's, you know, technology, mainly technology. We're busy working and just hustling. You know, we're just so busy with life that we don't give ourselves time to just think and be in our thoughts, you know? Like, I find that if you give yourself some time to actually switch off, especially before you actually go to sleep, giving yourself, like, maybe 10, 15 minutes to just let yourself think without any distraction, no phones, nothing. You actually sleep easier. Journaling is where it's at. <laughs> but I know you guys want me to read something from here, which I can. All right, we're back. We are back with the tea. Yeah, have some tea. Tea is good for you. Green tea. Fresh fruit tea. Lemon honey ginger is a really good combination. That's very comforting to be honest. If you like ginger. I've adapted my taste buds to actually liking ginger. It's pretty good. Pretty decent with honey. You know what? I can actually have ginger without honey. That's a flex. <laughs> Hashtag health right there. Oh, my dad's home. I got my meals that I'm going to be eating for the rest of the week. I'm so excited. <laughs> I'm so happy. <sighs> actually don't need a cook. It's like a plant-based brand. And I just got like the high protein stuff. This, most of them are like literally over 25 grams of protein. So I'm really excited about that. When I meal prepped, I showed you guys what I was going to eat for the next four days. Which was salmon and chicken. Oh my god, I'm so sick of it. Today's the last day, thank goodness. This is why I don't really like to meal prep. Because I get sick of my meals very, very quickly. After like day two, I was done. But obviously, I meal prepped like four days worth of food. That's why I only like to meal prep for like two to three days max. Any more than that, I get sick of the food. Like I like to change up my palate. But then, I'm also very grateful in a way because like I didn't need to worry about my macros and calories for the week. 
So it's like a win lose lose win situation sort of thing. I literally just scan it. It's literally on my fitness pal. You best believe. No stress for me. I don't need to weigh nothing. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna put these away. <laughs> Ta-da! Here we go. Doing laps around the backyard just to get my steps up. <laughs> dinner i'll be honest um i'm actually not hungry <laughs> it's so weird because usually i get really hungry throughout the day i don't know if lunch filled me up a lot or i don't know where my appetite has gone like honestly it's so weird because i love to eat and i am an eater okay like i love my food but anyways this is my dinner for today my salmon that i cooked and mixed veg and got some kombucha i was meant to add cost lettuce onto this or iceberg lettuce but I kind of feel like I don't need the extra volume so I'm just gonna skip out on that but if you guys need the extra volume highly suggest adding any kind of lettuce or you know mixed veg into your meal I just added salt and pepper to this mmm it's good and as for the salmon oh actually I could have crisped this up a little bit more I think I could have been, I could have chucked this in the air fryer for a little bit. I didn't think about it, but I honestly can't be bothered now because time is ticking and I still need to have my yogurt bowl tonight before I go to sleep. I don't want to eat it too late because I like to be in bed by 9 p.m. And I like to have my last meal around 8 o'clock. And it's already 6.40. <laughs> it's so weird how I'm squeezing in my meals now. Usually I'm kind of just like, oh my god, I need to space out my meals more. But today, I just haven't really felt the need to eat. It's so weird. Honestly, so weird. But cheers. <laughs> Third meal of the day. <laughs> mm. I've got like a hair mask in. And face mask. Self-care tonight. <laughs> Self-care. Why not? I was, I was just in the mood. It was like a little bit of a reward for myself. Because I've been editing all day. And I've got my stomach editing done. Which I'm proud of myself for. Pat on the back. Yay. And now, I don't know, I just also feel like my head needed a bit of hydration because it's looking a bit dead the last few days. So, <laughs> need a little bit of a pick-me-up. And I'm hoping it'll save my hair a little bit because it, I don't like the feeling of dryness in my hair. I mean, who does? But, like, I really just like the feeling of silky soft hair. I'm running out of space. Love that. Bye.